Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Kiana Cherise, and today I'm showing y'all how I did the makeup for my Hisoka cosplay. I'm going to link the video that I used to learn how to block out my eyebrows. I thought that was a good video, but then I also found another video that seemed to have more steps for thicker eyebrows, so I'm gonna link both of those. But basically, for your first layer, you wanna get that glue front, back, side to side, all over your brow. Well, actually, first of all, you wanna use the alcohol wipe to clean all the oil off your skin. But yeah, you really want to get that glue all up in there as possible. And then you want to comb it through with a spoolie or whatever you have. You really just want to try to get this first layer of glue all through there. And you want to lay your brows down because this layer is going to be the most important layer. Like if you mess this one up, you can't really fix it with your next layers. You know what I mean? But let me tell y'all something. I, I don't know what I was doing while I was editing, but let me tell you. This, I can hear my neighbor's dog barking, sorry. Um, you wanna also smooth it down with your finger, but I'm gonna try to do this with like no, just like a once through voiceover. So you wanna clean up the excess glue, preferably before it dries, like I waited too long. And you want the glue that's purple, the one that like disappears. But like I was saying, this whole makeup look took me two hours and what did I get it down to? 13 minutes, ridiculous. But I was just touching it because you want to make sure that first layer is completely dry before you go in with your second layer. And depending on um, like how thick your eyebrows are, you want to do multiple layers. I ended up doing three. I might have could have done four. The extra layers are to try to catch those like baby hairs or peach fuzz or whatever like that maybe the first layer didn't catch. But now I'm just priming my face up and... I'm going to bake the eyebrows. Well, first I made a mistake because um, I forgot, I, I didn't read, I didn't watch ahead in the video and I brushed the powder off, but I'm actually supposed to let it sit for like the entire makeup look. So in a second, you'll see me just like put it back on. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's where I realized it. So this is me putting, um, Laura Mercier translucent powder in my skin tone. I also saw some good tricks about if you can get a translucent powder that's maybe red or something for color correcting as a first. Okay, so I wasn't filming, unfortunately. Um, so what I did was I just brushed off the excess powder and then I put some foundation on a beauty blender and I put extra on the brows to try to cover them. I do think I need something more thicker because you can still see the brow but I mean it's pretty good and then I covered the rest of the face with foundation normally back to the voiceover or music or whatever I did I forgot I had a speaking part in there but I was saying um, you can use a color correcting powder as the first layer on your brows but here I am just blending out the foundation I like to blend it with like a brush and then with a sponge and going back and applying more powder on the brows. Now for Hisoka, I wanted to try to do a deep contour. If you watch my channel, you know, I'm not great at the contour, but you know, I taught myself how to block my brows. So I figured we're gonna see what we can do today. So here I'm trying to just think it through. Like I wanted to look very extreme as I wanted to give like kind of skeletal in a way. So I'm just trying some stuff here. And at some point I'm gonna realize like I made these lines too thick because you wanna have you wanna have room to blend out the color and it's already as thick as it should have been blended out, if that makes sense. But I also did a little on the bottom to try to hide or do a little something with his double chin and also try to make my chin kind of pointy, you know, just trying stuff. Have y'all been watching and seeing my Hunter Hunter content on um, my Instagram and TikTok? I'm super excited about it. But this is my last look, which I, I mean, I did it a while ago. It took me a while to edit this video. But, you know, y'all like it? I hope you do. But just trying to blend out the contour. And this is where I realized my mistake. But I, I mean, 
I sort of fixed it. Hold on. But yeah, I've been knocking them TikToks out. Like, as far as Hunter Hunter, I probably made 10 plus. So check your girl out. But still blending. You want you don't want a harsh edge, I think. Well, I don't think you do. I, I'm a bronzer girl. So what I did was I put the Laura Mercier powder on the like a reverse contour in a way to try to shrink the contour sort of um, and y'all have seen me apply concealer a bunch of times so I just sped this up but I didn't want to cut it out so I pretty much used the lighter color everywhere and on the outside of my lips I used a more skin tone color just to do a little something you know playing around with the colors <laughs> and then I skipped most of the blending because you've seen that before but this is basically what it's looking like getting blended out um, for this more dramatic look I did use more concealer than I usually do under my eyes but you know I feel like it worked out and also just blending that concealer and contour kind of making that smooth in a way setting my under eyes with my favorite LYS powder and setting some of the lighter or I guess skin tone parts of my face both of those which I shouldn't have done just yet I wanted to set my under eyes because they tend to crease quick but yeah so I forgot I wanted to contour my nose as well I usually don't do it like a heavy contour but just for the character I wanted it to be like super snatched and I put too much on but you know it, it worked out so I tried blending with a brush and it wasn't hitting so I just did my sponge using my Jackiana palette and putting just like a light brown on the lid and then I mixed like a dark brown and a reddish brown to put up in my crease to kind of get this I wanted a hollowed look but also I wanted some red in there because of the character more powder <laughs> So I wanted to try to outline, um, Hasoka has a star and a teardrop on his face, and I wanted to outline it with the pencil because that's what I've seen other people do, but it was not showing up on top of the product, and I'm not sure what mistake I made there, but I decided to just grab my paints from Meron, and I decided to just paint it on with the white. That palette I built myself as far as, you know, I picked out all the colors, so I picked out the colors that you can, like, make basically anything with, and then... And then I just bought the pink and the blue that I'm going to need for this look. I didn't really need to do that, but, you know, hey. And at this point, I realized, I guess I forgot how to draw a star. I don't know what I was doing. Um, <laughs> but I was trying, so I tried to fix my little star. Once I realized it was getting, it was wrong. And let me tell y'all, I have a shaky hand. Um... This is my first time using paints as well, so this is just practice, but yeah, my hand is pretty shaky. So for the teardrop, I actually did better on this one because it was more of a, it was like a round shape, so I was able to just kind of make a line, like, not too difficult to leave. Mm. Told you, I'm not editing this voiceover, so I hope it's alright. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that looks good. The top could have been pointier, but yeah, per. And I was trying to fix that, cover up that white line that I didn't want, but I never, it, it's okay. So I'm just filling it in with the blue paint and the star is pink. If you go on my Instagram, like I already said, you'll see the character, even though I probably should have put the picture of him in here, but it's, it's too late now. Hey. I left this real long. Um, come on, paint it. See, okay, you see the vision? Then we go over to the pink for the star. Now, mind you, at this point, like in real life, I'm like an hour and a half in, I think. Mm. But ooh, that crunch were looking kind of nice. Bam, okay. Brushing off the excess powder off the brows. It's time. And I'm setting the darker areas of my face because I forgot about that. 
Though honestly, the only parts of my face that really need setting are my under eyes because they crease and then my oily forehead and nose. Um, this is me trying to practice how to draw out the brow because I say if I mess up, I really don't know what to do to get the paint off. So, and like I said, my hand isn't steady, but I feel like the, the first brow came out pretty good. So they're kind of like, yeah, yeah, you see those type of brows. Like a little line, which is why I had to block out my brows. Oh, looking good. The second one, you know, they never match, but eventually. I think I made it started getting thicker I don't know but I made the first one match you know they came they came out good okay I feel good about this my knee hurts so bad but I don't want to adjust and make a bunch of noise oh look at me okay so I put more of the brown shadow under my eye to kind of give that that look that look I hate how I do my teeth like that. It'd be giving Lord Voldemort. Oh, I decided the eyes need a little bit more. So I put some highlighter on the lid. Because I just wanted to... I wasn't trying to go for a particular color. But more of an effect. Um, wiping it off the excess foundation off my lips. Because we're about to do those soon. And putting the actual highlighter like on my face. Spray it down. And then, wait, what did I do? Hold on. Um, oh, I lined my waterline with the black pencil. It was so quick. And now I'm lining my eyes with the Glamnetic felt, pen, felt tip pen. These are magnetic lashes. And y'all know I can't wear real lashes because I'm allergic to glue. So I bring these out every once in a while when I feel like, like I feel like this look needed lashes just for the character. So... I, mean, I need to buy some more lashes because I'm not exactly sure these are the same ones but you know hey and mascara on the bottom lash and we're feeling ourselves, okay and big reveal like eh, 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 look at me um I already did my lip and gloss so that's what the combo looks like and enjoy this voice over I should have cut that out, but I didn't. Um, <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.